Welcome back to the Office of Puzzle Solving Wonder. Today we are solving another puzzle. We are solving the Hanayama Cast Loop Puzzle. And inadvertently, this should be the easiest puzzle. When I bought this puzzle, I did not realise that it is a level 1 out of 6 difficulty. Uh, so it should be easy. It should not take 3 days or 2 hours like some of the previous ones that we've done. Having said that, I'm probably going to eat my words in a couple of minutes. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so I have some bad news. Opened it up, got it out of this box, and obviously here in the picture, it is a loop, hence the name, the loop puzzle. But it came out of the box in this position here, and then picked it up, and it fell apart. So, easiest puzzle solve ever. So, uh, which means today's puzzle is gonna be a little bit different, or the way we do it. Instead of taking it apart and then putting it back together, today's challenge is gonna be putting it back together and then taking it apart again and then putting it back together again. So, we've added 50% of a challenge to ourselves but this is going to be interesting to figure out. So, as opposed to describing how it is put together, let's start off with how it looks, yeah, let's describe each separate part. So, we've got two pieces here which are pretty much identical I think. We've got these spiral bits here that link together like this but then obviously we've got this here now how do we get that back in slides together really nice I like that that action is very smooth <laughs> so this is interesting Temptation is just to pull it apart and slide it in. That doesn't work. What else can we see on the puzzle? It's a solid piece of metal, so there's, there's nothing inside or... There's, there's definitely only these two bits. I feel like that circle bit, I think, is just the magnetic part of those holding it together like that. I am stuck for possibilities to work on now. If you can spot anything, please feel free to leave a comment below on what you would do right now. Your comment does not count if you already know how to solve it. Okay, so here it says, one of the appeals of this puzzle is, is that it can double up as an accessory when the two parts have been perfectly fitted together. Finished with a simple yet unique design. So, when, when it says when the two parts have been perfectly fitted together. So, does that mean that this should come open? And that the challenge actually is to put it together? Is that the case? Let me do some more investigating. <laughs> I've never seen this before. There's no solution included. If you need the solution, please send one euro or one US dollar for postage to so and so, so or Belgium, together with your address and wanted solution. <laughs> you can buy the solution. I mean, here, what. What you really want to do is just turn that around and want it to line up purely because that makes sense. So what if we can get it so that the, uh, the swirly bits here are lined up in a way that when we move it this way, they do line up. I feel like the swirls are just, just long enough to not let this happen. Although I'm not sure when it says you can double up as an accessory because 
This is gonna be a heavy, heavy accessory. Or a very big ring. Oh, you've done it. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh, uh, okay. So it's very easy to get apart. So the challenge is, yeah, so it should come open. I was wrong when I said it was open. Wow. So it's there. Ha! So. When it comes in the package, it's in this position. So the swirls have gone together there, that way. To solve it, you need to turn them over here and then it slides in there that way. That is very simple, yet a thing of beauty. And that, oh, that is amazing. That feels good. That is. This is a cool puzzle. I really, really like this. <laughs> it's so simple. So simple, yeah, it took us, what? That was 15 minutes from the start of this video to solve that. And it is so simple, yet. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. I like that a lot. We solved another one. Well done, us. Uh, we got a bit confused to start with sort of eight hour words in terms of difficulty it, it was quite easy in the end but that confusion of not knowing whether it was open or unopen and whether the challenge was to open it or put it back together it took about five or ten minutes to realize that, that that was the challenge putting it together was the challenge it was actually fairly easy uh, especially once you actually find out how to put it back together uh, which sounds very obvious obviously oh it's so easy when you know the answer to the question but what I mean is, on some of the previous puzzles that we've done, even knowing the solution, it still takes 10, 20 minutes to actually do. The previous one we did, the Vortex one, I know how to do that one, but it's still, I hate doing it, because it takes so long, and you have to get everything in just the right place. Whereas this one, as soon as you know it, you can do it like that. It's very simple, it comes off like this. I think they do a very clever thing in how they deliver it. So it's sort of delivered in this position with the spirals also interlocking perfectly, but this bit here not quite being in the right place. So then you're thinking, all right, well, it, it definitely slides together this way, but how can you possibly get it there? But as soon as you just flip it around into this position, it goes straight in, easy as that. This is a beautiful puzzle. This is so well made. The magnets in here, just when, when it clips together, oh, it sounds, it's a beautiful noise and it's solid. It's not just an easy magnet that falls apart. And this, how it's made, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love the design. So five puzzles tried, five puzzles solved. If you enjoyed the video today, please like the video. And if you wanna see more puzzle solving greatness in the future, then subscribe. We'll be doing another one next week. And until then, peace.